Okay, welcome back. This is part 9 of my complete file upload tutorial series. And in the last video, we set up our MySQL database and created a table and inserted, inserted a, uh, a user, so to speak, into our database table uh, called users. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually start on creating our login page. Now, our login page isn't going to be the same setup as our normal page right here. It's not going to be the same setup. And what I mean by this is it's not going to have all of this somewhat fancy stuff. All it's going to have is going to have a box in the very center of the screen, or approximate center. And it's going to have the logo above the box. And then the box is going to contain the login form. Um, and you will be able to log in through right here, uh, but that's going to be what our login page looks like. Now, before we do this, I am just going to generate um, the random value uh, that we're going to use for, uh, or not the random value, I'm going to generate the MD5 password for my user. So, I'm just going to throw in some PHP code. Uh, so, we simply just say echo mb5 here and the value in here is simply password so if we save and refresh you see this is the value for password that is mb5 encrypted so I'm just going to edit this user and replace this and click go so the password is now uh, mb5 encrypted so just to get that out of the way and get rid of this. Okay, so I'm going to create the new file now, and we're going to call it login.php. As soon as this loads, right here, login.php. So we're going to open the page, and I'm simply just going to get rid of the directory. Okay, so in our login page, uh, the first thing, obviously, let's add our or change our title. So I believe the title is upload site login so upload site yes yeah upload site login so yeah right there um, I'm going to copy and paste this uh, essentially I'm just gonna actually just copy the entire everything right here and just repaste it in change this back to login so what we're going to have now is if we just click login, it's just going to take us to our login page and we have our background color and our title. And that's really all we have at this point. So inside of our body right here, uh, we're going to create a uh, div with an ID of, um, call it login box. And we're going to create a new style for this uh, login box. So we are going to close this real quick, reopen it. So now we have our handy dandy little thing up here. Uh, so I'm going to scroll up to uh, right below our footer style. I'm going to create a new one, uh, a new uh, style for our ID login box. So we're just going to type in login box and then our curly brackets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a width. Now, we're not going to have it a very high width. It's going to be relatively small. And I'm going to set it to about 500 pixels for now. And I'm going to give it a height of, let's say, 400 pixels. And we'll give it a background color just to show it. And... Hmm. Kind of make it a grayish color. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, now, eventually, I will change this. Resubmit everything. So, here's our box. Now, the box doesn't really go along very well with the entire page, which actually, uh, before I change the login color, we're going to do the same thing we did with our uh, wrapper div is we're going to set the uh, margin on the left to auto 
and the margin on the right to auto. So that's just going to center our box in the middle of the page, right there. And I am going to, what color? I'm going to go with this darker color here that we're using for the right side. I'm going to use that for the login page. So, the right side. So, we're going to use that color for the login page. So, we save and refresh. You see, now we have this darker uh, box here. So, right above this box, we're going to we're going to go back to our source code. Right above this box, I'm going to copy and paste our uh, where is it? Here it is. Our logo image link. I'm just going to highlight the entire link and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right above our login box. Now, uh, on our href right here, we're going to set a style to it. And our style is going to be the margin on the left and right set to auto. So we'll make it so you guys can see that. So we're just setting a style. Now, using the style tag in any HTML uh, entity, um, it's pretty much just using CSS to style it, except it's just styling that one particular thing. So uh, that's why we forgot to not put that on the link. We put it on the image. So there we go. So it's still not working. Okay, well, we'll just get rid of the style, and we will simply just center the image. So, ending the center there. Okay, so now it's centered. Um, now, it is a little bit... It's a little bit close to the top here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a style back on here. Um, and the style is going to be a margin on the top of about 50 pixels and that's just gonna kick the box down or not okay well that's good enough very indecisive I'm sorry okay there we go so if you put the style on the uh, image itself and not the link it'll kick it down uh, made that mistake uh, so I'm also going to drop the width of our box here by about 100 pixels. So go to layout, the width, drop it to 300 pixels. So refresh. Okay, that's a lot better. So here's the box now. And as a last moment touch up, I'm going to throw a border on the entire box <coughs> on all sides, width of about two pixels and the color as six 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 enter save refresh resend okay so we have our nice little border here so inside of our box we're gonna have our login form now the thing is is we're only gonna display that login form if nothing has been submitted so if you go back to the home page the index page uh, if you click the login button we want to show like an error if the username is not found and everything so we're gonna put all of our PHP code inside of our login box div so right here so we're gonna put all of our code inside of here so I'm just gonna throw in the PHP code the code blocks and here we go so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the button. Now, if you haven't already, you should check out my uh, PHP login tutorial. You can just click on my name, or uh, my username on YouTube, and just go to the page. Uh, and you should definitely check out my login tutorial because it's essentially just going to be using that entire, really the entire code that is provided with that, which I don't actually have the source code for that anymore. But it's essentially just that entire tutorial. And uh, we're just going to be including it inside of this tutorial. So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue on with our login.